three, two, one, and we're going. What's happening, YouTube? And fans, subscribers, and anybody who's watching, my name's Dan, seriously, and guess what? I got another pickups video for you guys. Because uh, last week, you saw I picked up uh, Resident Evil 2 Revelations, and uh, what else did I grab? Astrobots, yes. Astrobots. Haven't played it much, but it's awesome. I just haven't gotten around to it. It's just like, but, and you'll understand why I haven't played it yet. Well, too much of it yet. And so I went to Walmart and I seen Borderlands. Borderlands, uh, the handsome collection. This comes with the prequel and Borderlands 2 in it with all the DLC. I'm pumped, but I played a lot of Borderlands back in the day when it first came out. And I don't know, I played it a lot, but I didn't really get into it too much. Then when I started playing this again, it just kind of seemed, I don't know, it's kind of boring, but whatever. It's fun. It was one of, first of its kind, and we can be, thank this game for, like, Destiny and The Division and any of those kind of looter shooters. I pretty much just put it on the map right there with that kind of looter shooter. Um, the next one I got came out of nowhere. There was really no advertisements for it. It was really hyped up. And I just seen a couple people playing it and they're like, yeah, it's good, it's good. And I think this is my favorite game of 2019 so far. And I think it is better than God of War. And I think it is better than Red Dead Redemption Dose. And that is Metro Exodus. Oh my god, I am blown away. I am almost done with it. I have put like 15 hours into this game straight. Probably more because my whole weekend was glued to this TV and I was just... <sighs> but, yeah. Metro Exodus. Buy this game. Buy this game. Buy this game. Especially now that Fallout screwed up. Kind of need our post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic game for this year because I don't know New Dawn I've heard a lot of people say it's pretty good but I'm just like you guys pumped out another Far Cry game and like that short of a time like you just got done with Far Cry 5 where the hell did this one come from but no gimmicks here no gimmicks here I highly recommend this game it's amazing you can make decisions, you make decisions, so if you shoot the wrong person or something like that, it'll skew off the story, you, the characters are great, and I like the way they did the levels, because it's not like an open world map, it's like, it's kind of like what um, God of War did, the new God of War, and like Destiny, is they made like levels, but they're really big levels, so you kind of have to, like, it's like a portion of an open, open world, but it's not like small enough where you're like, oh, there's not enough room, or like big enough where you're like, really, I gotta go all the way there? It's perfect. They got a few missions, you, you do your story in there, you finish up, and you take off to, I'm not gonna tell you how you take off, but you take off on to the next part, and there's a new, it's new environments, different kinds of enemies mixed in there and everything. Oh, dude. <clears throat> and the mechanics and the stuff you have to do in that game just to like be able to function. Oh my god. Oh my god. So good. But that's what I got. That's my pickups video for this week. So hit that like, comment, and subscribe if you must, please. And uh, I'll catch you next week. Catch me this week with my streams. I'm on during the week. Mondays and Wednesdays at 4.30 in the morning, just because that's when I get out of work, I get home, and I'll start streaming in the morning, so if you guys are up getting ready for school or work or whatever, and you see me on streaming, dude, come in and hit me up, say hi or whatever, come talk to me, see how everything's doing or whatever, and uh, during the weekend, I'm on at 7.30 at night, all night I'll be on during the weekend except for Sundays, so hit that like, comment, and subscribe, please. And I'll see you later.